Well, I was out here harvesting some lemongrass, and I realized I hadn't done an update to the rocket mass heater in a while, so I'm going to do that and also include just the greenhouse here. Um, it's uh, getting to be the middle of November here. We've had mid-20s outside at night, and these are the tomato plants, about eight feet tall, and uh, lots of green tomatoes. Got some that are turning red here, and... Now toward the outer wall, uh, that's some green beans that are turning brown, but tomatoes are struggling a little bit. It'll get down into the 40s in here. Uh, here's my tea tree. It needs to grow up some. <laughs> anyway, here's the rocket mass heater exhaust. Uh, I don't think I've done a video to show my exhaust out here. We got about six cinder blocks here. And I uh, ran this small exhaust. I showed this plan last year, running the small exhaust out this way. And the large exhaust already goes through the mass there inside the house. And then we got uh, just a bunch of water jugs on top that's going to collect some of that heat off of there. And this exhaust it, here will burn your hands if you keep your hand on there. And right here, it's, uh, it's cold. So I know that it's working. There's our fig tree, it's grown up. We got a pomegranate tree here that's a couple of feet high. I'm happy about that, lots of mint in that corner. I'll take you inside just to get the final view of this uh, rocket mass heater. Uh, the exhaust goes up up there to that, to that uh, stack up there. Greenhouse is doing really well here in winter time. We haven't gotten into super cold winters yet, but so far so good. Lemongrass got really tall this, uh, this summer. All right, so here is the final product. We we're getting ready to make some deer jerky. Got some racks here we're gonna set on top there and just use the heat. But uh, we ended up with going with slate tile on top. Did about a one inch coating around all the sides of it. I can just feel the heat radiating off of that, radiating off of there, really hot. The coating on the side is not a pure cob. What I did was I collected the red clay that's the orange clay that's in this area here. And I mixed one part clay to one part concrete. And it was a special uh, concrete that resists cracking. Look real closely. You can see a little bit of cracking, but not bad. And we can always do more coatings later. But the uh, rocket mass heater is going really great. Right now, it is heating a 3,000 square foot home all on its own. And it's not, it's warmed up here during the day. It's in the 40s. But, uh, so it's not too terrible outside. But this thing puts out a lot of heat. And I got this fan air purifier blowing over the, uh, the barrel there. Just to pull the heat off there. Now right behind the barrel you'll see a air filter. And that's just where the air gets sucked into this room, which I guess I haven't showed before. This is our workout room, utility room. So the air will get pulled off of that barrel if the heater happens to come on, which this thing's doing the whole job now. But at nighttime, the heater can come on, pull the heat off that barrel through there, and then that will be sucked into the furnace, which will be using propane. So we get just a lot of extra heat. So it's, everything's gonna work efficiently together. We're just using what we got here. And uh, really happy with the results from the rocket mass heater. You have to babysit it a little bit. Some things don't want to fall down all the time. But, uh, and it's, we just got super hot coals in there. It's not really loud right now, but when you get a bunch of smaller pieces in there, you can hear the rockety sound. Anyway, that's our update here, mid-November 2017. Rocket mass heater, and it's uh, warming that thermal mass here in the greenhouse and helping to regulate the temperatures in here at nighttime. 
And uh, so far, so good. We're doing well.